everyone. In this video, we're going to offer a healing to Afghanistan and to Haiti, both countries who are really experiencing a humanitarian crisis. Hi, my name is Nancy Rebecca. I am a registered nurse, but I've also worked as a full-time psychic and healer for 25 years now. I also teach intuitive psychic development. So in August, I uh, recorded a video called the August Frequency Forecast. And in that August Frequency Forecast, I talked about how uh, that there was going to be some rapid changes this month where we were going to be kind of like that frog where we were going to have to let go of the egg phase. Uh, we we're going to have to kind of pivot, shift, adapt as the tadpole tail grew, giving it the gift to be able to swim in water. Uh, eventually the tadpole starts to lose its tail, so it would have to uh, let go, pivot, shift, adapt, and uh, be grateful and welcome in the gifts of having webbed feet. So now not only could it be in the water, but it could also be on land. But what I didn't realize uh, during the August frequency forecast was that I personally felt like I was having to pivot, shift, and adapt, you know, like 10 times in one hour. It just felt like the waves of change were coming so rapidly. Uh, so in the August frequency forecast, Spirit also came through and talked about the dates mid-month of August 13th, 14th, and 15th. And during that time, there was going to be this kind of pause time, this reset time. So if you kind of think about a globe uh, of the earth uh, that sits on a stand that can spin so that you can look at all the countries in the, in the world, it would be like suddenly the spin stops and there's this kind of three day period of pause and then suddenly you give it a good spin again and it starts spinning. So I knew that at this kind of personal uh, human level, uh, Spirit said things are not going to unfold in the way that your head tells you it's going to unfold. So kind of give yourself some growing room over that weekend so you can shift, pivot and adapt to any changes. So at that time, I ended up taking a vacation and I was up in the um, National Park up by Crescent Lake in the Pacific Northwest, uh, very near the Ho Rainforest. I was at a place where I was surrounded by ancient trees that were 300 years old because I was in the National Park. I was right near this crystal clear Crescent Lake, very relaxing, very much kind of out of the fray of what was going on in the community. So as I was kind of making my way back on the 15th of August, I got a text from my son who said, Mom, I just want to kind of forewarn you, your re-entry back into the city might be a little bit rough. The news is kind of turned upside down right now. So I came back uh, into internet range and uh, news range to find out that not only on that weekend had Haiti had an enormous earthquake, uh, but also in Afghanistan, they were going through a humanitarian crisis as they were trying to evacuate those whose lives are in danger. So um, is it all connected? Who knows? Is it a coincidence? Who knows? But the bottom line is uh, even me on an individual level felt a little flipped upside down. Uh, everyone I'm talking to feels a little flipped upside down. So when that's happening, you really want to be able to ground strongly. So if you'd like a link on a grounding meditation, just visit my website at intuitivemind.org click on uh, free stuff and uh, you'll be able to see the different meditations that are available for you to upload and to be able to kind of listen to me voice guide you through a meditation. So in this video, I'm going to kind of teach you a technique on how to do a healing for Afghanistan and for Haiti, but you can apply this technique to anything. So I want to tell you a little bit of a story first about an experience because I've been doing this for 25 years, healing properties, healing lands, healing buildings, healing people, healing pets, um, anything to help shift energy. I have lots of experience of kind of seeing the outcomes of these. So there was a particular restaurant 
here in Tacoma, they were having a lot of, uh, we'll just say energetic disturbance. Uh, chairs falling over, ch uh, tables kind of moving across the room, alcohol bottles kind of falling off the shelf. So they had called, uh, called me and asked if I could come kind of take a look at the energy. And so I brought a team of uh, uh, some of the healers with me. And so we offered a healing. And I'm, I'm not gonna get into that story. Maybe that's something that I'll share at another time. Uh, that was really cool and what we discovered and um, but once we did the healing and once the energy in the building had settled and it was kind of attached to two other businesses it was like one big square on a corner they had a restaurant they had a barber shop they had a coffee shop and uh, maybe something else and then around that building were other kind of abandoned buildings that were kind of um, in disrepair. So what I said to the owner is, don't be surprised now that we have offered this healing that the businesses around you are gonna start cleaning up their businesses. And I remember the man said, yeah, right, okay, whatever. <laughs> anyway, he called me the next day and he was kind of freaked out and he said, oh my gosh, one of the uh, abandoned buildings, the owner showed up and they started pulling the broken glass out of the windows, replacing it with uh, repaired windows. There was somebody else who uh, brought paint and started painting and he actually went over and said, wow, how long have you planned on painting this? And the owner said, no, I just woke up this morning and realized I have all this extra cans of paint so I thought that I would just come over and paint the building and then somebody else around them started replacing their roof. So uh, all these three events happened within just a couple of days of that building getting a healing. So the reason why I share that story with you is it's just one small story of many stories that I have where when you offer to kind of uplift, offer healing energy to an area, it impacts the whole area and people are inspired to want to do more kind of positive, uplifting, wholesome, healthy choices that may have kind of been stuck in stuck energy before. So how do you do this? How do I do this? So once I came back to my home on the 15th of August, um, was able to kind of catch up with the news of what was happening in Haiti with their earthquake. And you know, they never fully recovered from the last earthquake and it's already a poor country. And there's a lot of uh, kind of political reasons that, that let lead up to their poverty state. Um, and so we don't really need to get into all of those reasons. It's the same with Afghanistan. Uh, <clears throat> it is an ancient, ancient, ancient country that has an ancient history uh, that goes back thousands of years. Uh, there's been a lot of political influence from other countries. And again, we don't need to be able to get into all of that to be able to offer healing. Um, and so in fact, it's going to be really important as a healer that you not have an attachment to the outcome, that you don't project your agenda onto whatever healing that you're doing. Ultimately, you just want to be able to raise it to its highest potential healing vibration and frequency and however it blossoms, however it opens up is um, up to the kind of the path that that particular country or that particular situation is aligned to unfold to. So again, really important that you not project your agenda or not um, uh, set an expectation of where you think this healing needs to go. The other thing that's really important is that you be well grounded. So as a healer, when I'm working with a human, it's definitely important that I be well grounded. A, so uh, my energy doesn't project onto the person I'm offering healing to, and B, that the, heal, the person who is ill or out of balance, that I don't take on their energy. So being well grounded, and then also just uh, having that open heart and having that intention of just wanting to offer um, help, support, uh, uh, upliftment uh, for all, whatever is in alignment with the highest good of that person or that area. 
So um, you want to be well grounded. You want to have your energies flowing. You want to have your earth energy flowing, your cosmic energy flowing. Again, please visit my website at intuitivemind.org to download some free meditations to do that. So what do I do? So when I'm healing a building, and so I'm gonna give you this example so that you can practice on your own house, so you can practice on your own apartment, you can practice on your place of work, uh, the bedroom that you're sleeping in, your kitchen, your bathroom. Maybe there's an area in your yard that never seems to grow anything. You can offer the same type of healing to that area in your yard. So what I do is, as a human, I'm going to ground myself to the center of the earth. I'm gonna bring through um, earth energy. I'm gonna create a large ball of golden cosmic healing light above my own head to shower through my aura to help me center myself. When I offer a healing to anything in my own property or my own house, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna ground my house. So I'm gonna close my eyes and pretend that I'm creating a grounding um, image that's also going to function as a drain. So you can imagine like a strong tree with a root system that goes 4,500 miles deep to the center of the earth and that root system is going to anchor in deeply. But I'm also going to intend that it be a drain so that as I'm kind of inviting that golden healing energy through my house, whatever needs to be dissolved, whatever needs to be broken up and released, it'll just flush right down that grounding, almost like power washing the house, uh, uh, a sprinkler in your yard, it's gonna soak into the earth. I'm listening to uh, somebody with a leaf blower outside right now. So I hope you could kind of bear with me as I will proceed with this recording. <laughs> I always know when there's extra noise outside that whatever it is that I'm talking about has great value because there's interference in the world. So um, what I'm talking about has great value. So when um, you're healing a house, you're healing yourself, it's the same exact principle. You want to ground to create a drain and then you want to bring through uh, that radiant healing golden light to be able to wash through and anything that is not in alignment with that healing um, energy is going to dissolve and drain down the grounding. Now, you can do a healing on the entire earth the same way. You can just close your eyes. You can imagine the earth kind of suspended in space. You can create a grounding um, force from the bottom of the earth, kind of like a drain. So you're just going to go deep, deep, deep with that, that grounding force. And then you're going to invite the cosmic light, the cosmic healing light to just begin radiating down its golden rays, just showering down through the entire earth. And as this just kind of washes out what is no longer in alignment with, um, the highest potential of everyone on earth for all the countries. You can literally do this just as a offering prayer or kind of a visual type prayer. The power of prayer and just tuning in with God is absolutely powerful. Uh, but for those of you who like a little bit more visual, I'm just going to give you some examples of just how I do it personally. So um, just healing the earth, you just want to shower it with this golden light until it feels like it's kind of settled. That's the best way that I can describe it. When you're healing, offering a healing to a country, you definitely want to check in with spirit. You always kind of want to ask permission. Uh, do, you know, is it appropriate for me to offer healing? Most of the time, the answer is going to be yes. The spirit world loves it when um, humans help to correct some, um, imbalances in the world. They love it when we open our heart and we intentionally want to offer what is ever for the highest good. So imagine Haiti, which is an island. And uh, with Haiti, you just can, um, you can look up on, uh, look up a map if you, if that's helpful for you for a visual to get a sense of what the country looks like. 
But for me, I just intend that Haiti is going to be part of my vision. And then I'm going to imagine grounding uh, the country of Haiti all the way down to the center of the earth. Then I'm going to imagine a really large ball of golden light that's going to begin to shower down through the entire country of Haiti. And then that golden healing light, it's just whatever is for the highest potential. It's like just wanting to offer uh, support, uh, wanting to offer healing, that that healing light go where it is needed. So again, I'm trying not to project, I'm just saying whatever is for the highest good of Haiti. So you wanna just create that grounding and then you allow that golden light to just soak and saturate and dissolve and break up to shift, balance, and harmonize. All right, so um, I can always already feel as you are all listening to this, I can feel healing essence coming into Haiti. So now with Afghanistan, now Haiti, it was different. It had an earthquake. There was um, an unsettledness in the earth where it just really shook up everything. But in Afghanistan, there's a different type of humanitarian crisis where it is human made. Is it going to make a difference in how you do the healing? Absolutely not. You offer it in the same exact way. So you can just imagine the country of Afghanistan. You can imagine creating a grounding core to help stabilize the energy of the country but it's also going to function as a drain to help kind of drain away any of the toxins, any of the violence, any of the maybe terrorism. We're not gonna be attached to what's being draining. Maybe the grief, maybe certainly a lot of fear, a lot of fear is going on in that country right now. But again, you wanna make sure you're in a really stable place, then you're gonna ground the country of Afghanistan create a strong, stable grounding force and drain, then you're gonna call in that high level of divine golden light that's healing, and then you're going to invite it to just flow down through the entire country of Afghanistan. And then you're just gonna sense that um, any old outdated energy in Afghanistan, let's just say that it's fear, is gonna drain and drain and drain until it's settled. That's the best way that I can describe it because often my students and clients and friends will say, how am I gonna know when it's done? Spiritually, you just know, okay, I've offered as much as I can offer today. Um, and then you wanna check in after you offer these healings to Afghanistan or to Haiti, or maybe to, I know in the United States, we're having some floods, um, so you can offer it to those areas as well. Maybe you wanna offer it to some of the uh, communities that are really struggling with the COVID pandemic right now. You can just ground that area, bring in that golden energy until it's settled. And then you wanna kind of either give it up to God, give it up to the divine, let it go. You always, if, if the next day you wanna offer healing again, again, ask for permission. Does it feel like I should offer healing today or should I wait a couple of days? So what I believe, what I know to be a truth for me, just based on the experiences that I've had the past few years, is that together with that healing presence, as we come together, we can truly shift the planet. We can shift and balance and harmonize those energies and it draws other people in to want to also offer healing, offer upliftment. They feel compelled and they don't even know why they feel compelled. But it's just because the energy vibration and frequency is at a higher frequency so that we've got that potential to really kind of move through these hardships and this, this deep heart aching suffering that the world is going through right now. So I had a whole different agenda that I was gonna talk about today on this Tuesday release of this video. Spirit came through really strong and said, we need everyone to offer healings to different areas of the earth, but especially to Haiti and Afghanistan right now. As you heal them, you are healed. As you heal yourself, others are healed. We are stronger always together 
than we ever have been apart. So I so appreciate you all joining in. I would love if you offer healing to make a comment about what your experience or experiences has been, especially if you offer healing to those two places or maybe offer healing to other places as well, or even your own house. I look forward to kind of hearing what your experiences are. So I will be signing out now, but if you like this video and other videos that I've made, please click the subscribe button. Also click the little bell. And uh, just a couple of other announcements. We only have a few days left of my Intuitive Mind Home Study Program special. Go to my website, click on Home Study. You'll see that special there, August 31st. That special is expiring. Uh, we also, at the end of the week, we have a psychic showcase that's coming up on Sunday, and we have a webinar, What's Your Intuitive Style, coming up in September. So just visit my website. You'll see all those specials. Sign up for everything. We're going to have a lot of fun as we heal this world together. All right, take care, everyone. Have an awesome, awesome rest of the month.